My name's Kate Schofel. I'm a breeder of mixed breed dogs, crossbred dogs, and I've been breeding dogs for 25 years. I'm making this video because unfortunately with COVID, we can't take visitors. I'm, as you can see, quite old, and I don't want to take any risks. I haven't had it yet, and I'm going to keep that going for as long as possible. So we've, we've decided to put together a little video to introduce the kennel so that people can see what's going on and to talk about the things that I normally talk about when I hand over my puppies, so that you can have a look at that too. These, these two here, these are our two pets, Stanley and Jolly. Stanley and Jolly are, are what we're calling O'Connell Retrievers. They're basically based on Cavalier and Golden Retriever, a little bit of Labrador in there too. Um, and they're, these ones, we breed these ones to breed our mums for our medium-sized groodles that are about sort of that big. And then we breed the bigger groodles and we breed little groodles. I first started breeding Labradoodles back in 1995. Um, I started breeding dogs because I was concerned about the fact that people just couldn't get nice, well-bred, gentle, friendly dogs that weren't pedigree dogs. That, I mean, it, it, you can get lovely dogs from the pound, but there weren't very many going, and people were basically breeding dogs at random. There wasn't any sort of deliberate plan to it. I also was, um, I'm a vet and a geneticist, and so I was interested in the idea of crossbreeding for hybrid vigour, which is a well-established phenomenon. So that's why that what got me started after I'd been to a behaviour course where I was listening to all kinds of problems about problem dogs and behaviour problems. And I thought, there's got to be a better way of breeding dogs than just for show rings or at random. We're going to do a tour of the kennel, have a visit to the, to the dogs. So, welcome. So here we are at the kennels. Um, this is where the dogs come in at night and this is the, where the, the um, girls have their puppies, the wolfing kennels. So, these, I mean, all the dogs come in here. Can you see over there? Yeah, they come in each night so that we can make sure that they're fit and healthy. They get handled twice a day. They get their food. We make sure we know then if they're eating their dinner or not. Um, and the rest of the time they're outside, and we'll look at that later. So, this is Flash's kennel. Her babies are. Um, Five, over five weeks old now, I'm not precisely sure how old, but they're, they're whoops, there she goes, that's flash. Um, so yeah, so the puppies, once they're, once they're five weeks old, they go out in the veranda during the daytime, and we'll go and have a look at that in a minute, but so they, they yeah, so they, and then this all gets cleaned out, it's all ready to go for tonight. And under here, we've got tiles on the, on the, on the floor there, so that's all underfloor heating, nice and cozy warm. They have access out there. Puppies learn to go outside to go to the toilet by, by about five weeks old. But um, before that, they're like the puppies in the next pen, which is pretty messy. You want to have a look at that one next? So this is Whiskey. She's one of our mini retrievers. She's a beautiful girl. And as you can see, between three and five weeks old, it gets terribly messy. We get, because the puppies are out, they're having to learn to go outside to go to the toilet, but they haven't worked it out yet. So we go through an awful lot of newspaper, um, keeping them as clean as we can. It gets cleaned up twice a day. And um, with these puppies, these puppies are four weeks old. These are Whiskey's babies. I just did their health check the other day. And they're four weeks old and they're all healthy puppies. I'm not sure about their teeth yet because they haven't come in. Oh, but they're very gorgeous. Beautiful. So I've got all their paperwork here. That's the, each dog's paperwork as, it's, as they have their babies. And that's a printout of everything that we have to do, all the procedures from from um, naught to eight weeks. And everybody, as you can see, they're ticked off as they go along. Um, this one here is an interesting one. This is a, what we call early neural stimulation. Um, puppy gentling, got a lot of different names. Basically, there's a procedure for each puppy. We've just made up one that, that works for us. We hold the puppy, turn it upside down, put it on a damp cloth, tickle its belly, play with its feet, fiddle its ears, stuff like that. Everybody has to do that 
um, every day from, from when the puppies are three days old until they're three weeks old. And there's lots of good research that shows that that's, um, that helps with them being more resilient when they're older. So this is Ruby. She, her puppies are, are still babies. They're still going through their gentling progress, process. They're about, I think they're about two, no, well, their eyes are open, so they're two weeks old. And they're very gorgeous, but they get, they get this sort of handling every day. Whoa, they're their baby. It's okay, it's okay. Gonna hold them until they get calm. There we go. Nope, you're not gonna get calm on me, are you? Here we go. Calmer now. Okay. And um, Ruby. So these little guys are kaboodles. Hop in there, darling. Ruby's a terrific little dog, aren't you? She's a very sweet dog. She's a she's a what are our million poodles we call them? She's actually about the same size as a mini, but she's got standard in her back in the day. A little bit of legato, various toy and mini poodles. This is a particularly cute puppy. Everybody will want that one. No, this is a little girl. She's a bit fussed about this. Doesn't know what's going on. Flash down. Oh, no, Flash. No, Flash. It's not your puppies. We don't need you here. So this is where the, the dogs live during the day. So they're, they're about no more than four in a pen, usually three or four, or two in that case. Um, and they come out in the mornings, Heidi puts them out, and they hang out here during the day, and then they go back in at night. About half of these dogs actually don't live here all the time. They're guardian dogs. So they, they go home to their families and they just come up here for breeding. So as you can see, they're all sitting up there looking, watching the world to see what's happening. So these are our puppies that are between five and eight weeks old. You'll see these little guys here. They're obviously little babies. They've only been out for a couple of days, but they're pretty friendly already. The first day or two when they come out, they sort of tend to be a bit shy and nervous, but this, this area here has the advantage of being the busiest part of the kennel, so there's always action. We have a socialisation program for them out here. Somebody has to come out and spend an hour each day just, just playing with puppies. It's a really tough thing. A horrible job. Oh, these are Flash's babies. They're very cute. These ones have been getting extra attention from Tanya when she comes up to visit Flash every week. Nice thing about these pens is that you'll see there's not a lot, there's not lots of poo around here because the puppies train themselves. They automatically go out that little door and go and crap outside. So yeah, so they, they self-train and that's why toilet training, they've just got to learn what area they should and shouldn't make a mess in. This is our tiny surgery where we desex the puppies. So it's all set up, it's everything we need for, for desexing dogs. That's all, that's the license to do that. Uh, we are a licensed veterinary hospital but only with a limited license and um, when the puppies are desexed they go handed to Heidi and Heidi sits with them and holds them until they wake up and then they go back with their, with their litter mates into a, they go into a warm, on a warm pad until they're fully recovered and then they go out and have breakfast. So they, it's, it's very, I think it's the least stressful way of de desexing dogs because they, they have no fear that they're, they're with they're, they go back to their mum at night, they're with their litter mates pretty much all the time except when they're waking up on Heidi's lap. So yeah, that's our little setup here.